Jimmy John's has a company policy requiring its employees to wear fresh gloves and keep their hair tucked under a cap when they're making sandwiches. So DHEC's new regulations requiring those things won't cause many changes here. If anything, we might incur a few costs on new hats, you know, just to keep everybody looking sharp. But Justin Zand, who's been working in restaurants for 14 years, says some locally owned places might have a much bigger problem complying. Working in the mom and pop kitchens, you know, especially here in South Carolina, you know, we weren't required to wear gloves for a lot of food prep. And I think if we start implementing hair nets and gloves, I think there will definitely be bigger costs. Chef Eric Wagner at Ori Georgetown Technical College says the new rules also require more stringent food temperature controls. And food handling equipment must be certified by the National Sanitary Foundation, or NSF. I've heard from a, a couple of chefs that they may ha have an under-counter refrigerator that they have to replace because it's not NSF. But Wagner, who teaches future chefs, approves of the new regulations and says they'll help South Carolina catch up to the rest of the country. I believe every, every state should be equal. I mean, we're one country, so we should have the same rules everywhere.